Finally, I get around to actually doing the quick little how-to on how to build your own desulfator. So let's look at what I built and see if you guys can copy it. Here's my desulfator. Basically you have a low power side which involves a triple five timer circuit and a few little components that control it which feeds a MOSFET which is basically just a digital switch and you have two torrids with an output and input power remember this runs off the battery itself so one little connector and this is not part of the original schematic which I will show you in a second but I also have a 6 amp DC to DC converter which also charges the dead batteries and also maintains the uh, power as the desulfator works as you can see right now this battery I have them all set for 13.5 volts and here is your schematic this is based off of Frontier Springs 12 volt desulfator schematic and you can find this by just searching either Google for Frontier Springs desulfator There's a few, they have a few different styles when you get onto their page they've tried different values come on focus thank you their default values for say R4 is a 330 ohm they also have another option in there for a 1.1k ohm I use the 1.1k and it works better same down here they say 330 ohms in their first version their subsequent versions they use a 3.3 kilo ohm resistor works much better now the way this circuit works if you know the basics of how to read a schematic is there are two sides to this there's a low power side which runs basically off of 5 volts then there's the actual desulfator side you have your triple five chip and the few little resistors and capacitors that basically tell it how fast to turn on and turn off and that's all that does it's a timer it sends its output signal to these two pieces, a capacitor and a resistor, which then feeds into the MOSFET, the high speed digital switch. And this is what actually carries current. And this resistor right here is what breaks it from low power, low voltage, to high power, high voltage. And you're talking maybe five five volts over here. And it's isolated by that. Over here, remember your desulfator is sending back spikes into the battery at anywhere from 40 to 50 volts, which would fry that in a single pulse. They are very sensitive. So if you forget this or you put it in wrong, your little 10 cent chip is going to go up in smoke. So this is all you need. You can actually, this is in picture form on their website. Just save the picture, print it on out because it's a lot easier. And that's basically it. This was my second prototype, so it's a little cleaner. The capacitors that are right here are for the DC DC converter. They have absolutely nothing to do with the desulfator. The desulfator is just the board itself and for anyone who's never seen this before because I never have down inside here I'll move my finger it almost looks like a ceramic capacitor believe it or not that is actually this thing right here a PPTC resettable fuse um, basically it clamps if it feels too much current going through it automatically shuts off the circuit and it will get hot because a few times building this I've messed up a wires here or something like that and it would just stay on and run current and it would shut off the whole circuit but it would get extremely hot in the process so what looks like a ceramic capacitor is actually a fuse and the LED 
I honestly cannot remember where I tapped into. I believe it's basically just ground and in between one of these MOSFETs, in between the MOSFET. I honestly cannot remember off the top of my head. I will have to get back to you on that. Check that out. That even helps even more. Frontiersprings.com. Wow, it's amazing what happens when you read. If you have any questions, post it in the comments. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if there's a good enough comment that I need to make another video, I will do so. Thank you.